Hello and welcome back to the third geostatistic course with QGIS and R. The main topic of this course is structural analysis for Kriegin co Kriegin interpolation. This video is just a summary of the fourth lesson of the course and today we are going to be talking about experimental semivariogram. At the second lesson of this third geostatistic course, we saw already how to create the omnidirectional semivariogram cloud. We also saw how to calculate the lag distance and the semivariance with this function over here. In the lesson three, we saw how to create the directional semivariogram cloud. Now, it's time to see how we can pass from the semivariogram cloud directional or omnidirectional to the experimental semivariogram. Then the first thing that we are going to do in this lesson is to create the script to plot the omnidirectional experimental semivariogram. And then we are going to analyze the type of information that we can see on this graph. Also, we are going to see what is the link between the graph related to the semivariogram cloud and the experimental semivariogram. What is the relation between these two graphs? In order to have a better understanding on the relation between these two graphs, we have to go deeper in the concept of lag distance and the number of lags. Then, to explain these concepts, we are going to be playing again with the beans on the map to have a better uh, explanation about the omnidirectional experimental semivariogram and also the directional experimental semivariogram. And we are going to, to show you how you can calculate the lag distance for your data when you are working on the experimental semivariogram. Later, we are going to see all the elements that we can recognize on the experimental semivariogram, like the nugget, the partial seal, the range, the seal, the variance, the correlated and uncorrelated areas of the graph, and etc. Next, we are going to create uh, several scripts related to the directional experimental semivariogram and also related with uh, data that has strength and we want to remove it. Just to let you know, the experimental semivariogram is a fundamental piece to identify the stationarity or not of our data. Then if we have an experimental semivariogram that is showing a shape that is uh, quadratic or parabolic, it is indicating that our data is not stationary, then we have to remove the trend. Then it's going to be scripts to remove the first order and the second order trend surface. And then we are going to get the the experimental uh, semivariogram for the residuals. Later, we are going to work on a script that is going to give us the experimental semivariogram for four different directions. This type of script is very interesting when we want to analyze the anisotropy of our data. In this lesson, we are not going to talk about this topic, right? That is going to be part of a different lesson. But in this lesson, we are going to see the script to calculate different experimental semivariograms all together for different directions. And that's pretty useful. 
the last thing that we are going to see in this lesson is how to create the experimental semivariogram with the semivariogram cloud in an spreadsheet. Then we are going to see how we can extract the values, how we can calculate the average of the lag distance and also the semivariance and how this information can be plotted in a graph. Then in this way, you are going to have a full understanding of the experimental semivariogram. Remember that this course is not available in YouTube. If you want to have full access to the course, just go to the GeoRGV community website at gscourse.online, then go to courses, get enrolled in the third year statistic course, a structural analysis for Kriegen co -Kriegen. Then when you get enrolled, you can start the course. And here you are going to see all the lessons that we added already. In total, there are five lessons. The summary for today is related with the lesson number four, the experimental semivariogram. As you can see, the total uh, time of this lesson is about one hour. And also we have added the lesson five that is related with the model semivariogram. For this one also we have almost one hour. And if you have any question that is related with the lessons, you can leave your question over here. And also if you want to be more active, you can participate at the forums that we have at the groups. Then you can register in any of these groups and then uh, participate in the forums and that's it for today well thank you very much for watching this video and see you on the next lesson